Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the, my video and here we are covering Uberit's clone and now what we are going to do is we are going to think about the deployment of our application. So we have microservices, we have the front end applications. So what all we have? We have microservices. We have front end applications and which is having SSR and CSR both. Right, so we need to think about how we can deploy these applications to cloud, maybe AWS, uh, DigitalOcean or some other platform. I'm targeting only AWS because we can keep all the things on the same stack. So what do we have? This is our front end applications. These are our, you can say, uh, repository, monorepo. And here we do have our front end application. We have our microservices multiple microservices like user service or, or sorry auth service then we have a restaurant service order service card service and then we also have here some front end application which is like ssr and csr we also need to think about how we deploy deploy it if you talk about csr client side rendered application like react what we till now in in your projects also you might have heard about you are rendering through s3 or you might have deployed it to some folder and rendering the content through nginx right because when you talk about simple react app what we do is in react app you just create a build and it gives you some folder like this or build we just need to serve that be this or build folder from somewhere so that your client can download the whole code and can run the whole code at the client side this is what is typical client side application does and how we do how we can deploy it uh, we can either use a simple ec2 instance here we can just use ec2 instance and then we can have a simple nginx on top of that and the nginx will read the content from some particular directory and that server is already up and running nginx is running there and from here you can actually directly talk to that it's like uh, that instance is in the me, me in vpc but you expose some particular port like port 80 so that your content can be rendered to the client side this is typical now then we started thinking okay this is just like a build folder why why can't we just deploy it or host it through s3 why we are having a ec2 instance up and running 24 7 for that right so what we then thought about okay we can have a cloud front i will talk about these different terms which i'm using here this is the cloud front front and here you can have a simple s3 bucket in s3 bucket whenever you deploy the code you just sync your content to the s3 bucket and you actually put a content distribution on top of that cloud front and you can put a route 53 or you have your own domain then you can render the content because you need to have some address like uh, tksharma.com my, my website right so route 53 will provide you the domain you will go actually from this path okay so you will use this path route 53 if you don't have any domain registered domain like uh, your website.com it will use cloud front and you will be able to access the code from the s3 so whatever your distant build folder right what you are doing is you are just synchronizing your build folder to s3 bucket and might be for some of the people these terms are totally new but we will you will get familiar with all of these things so it's a front end app but when it comes to server side rendered application like nextjs and uh, svelte kit they are not like some build folder you need a server to run them so there are multiple options available to uh, deploy them. I mean, you can also deploy this CSR application through the Netlify, through the Vercel or some any other platform which is available providing these uh, things publicly. Okay. So what we can do is if you have a Netlify account, just simply right create a Netlify app and it's very easy to do these things on the Netlify. Okay, Netlify, you just need to configure the app, provide your GitHub locations. Currently, it's mono repo, so we need to also see the setup if you want to deploy to Netlify. That's totally different uh, setup because it's a mono repo and you have to expose only a particular folder to the Netlify app. 
for the client side rendered application netlify setup is easy even for the server side rendered application the setup is easy i think for the when you are deploying a ssr app you have to pay something you have to add your card because there is a billing associated with that so that's little different but yeah setup is just like okay filling the form what are the commands from which particular folder you need to pick the build folder these are the simple simple instructions you provide and it is fine we can talk about this just for your knowledge like how we deploy it through the netlify or versal the csr and ssr applications but to keep this stack same we will be using cloudfront and s3 for the csr and for the ssr we can use a cloud edge function okay lambda edge function to deploy your swell kit or next year so we will try the next year and then we will see okay these are your microservices ms1 microservice 2 how we deploy them currently these are exposing rest interface right rest interface and uh, what is the easiest tech which is available right now we can just go with the serverless stuff because we don't need this application to be running and i am getting charged for the billing what we can do is we can use a lambda here lambda serverless tech actually you can say and we can explore lambda api gateway we use a postgres for some of the services we can think of using dynamo db this tag is pretty much similar and we can bootstrap all those things through the aws cdk so our stack may be simple may be complex that is a different thing but what why we are talking all these things we are going to dive into the aws world and we are going to explore lot of things the different components like cloud front s3 aws cdk how to ex actually access the aws platform aws provides a, aws is a cloud vendor right how you can access the aws you might have done that in the past like this is you sitting here and you wanted to access aws what all different options you have you actually have a root access you create administrator user and you use ui console like dev console or you are good at aws cli from command line you wanted to create a resources or you can use aws cdk i mean there are many options to create or access the aws resources aws cloud formation but for that again you need to have a aws cli but these are many different ways in which you can access the aws resources when you are learning aws from the beginner what you do is you create your account then you start using through the aws dev ui console it's like a user interface where you click on some buttons and everything gets popped up you will be able to create resources like s3 bucket ec2 instance cloud formation or sns sqs lambda anything you can create through the ui console but here we want to do things programmatically because i'm a developer i'm not a devops person or uh, ops person what i want you to enable is you should also be able to write code or write the aws stack earlier there was a concept of aws cloud formation mm -hmm. and you can write a cloud formation template and you deploy it through the cli uh, i didn't like it because where there you need to write a long big json objects a stack and i quite not much uh, into cloud formation then they introduce aws cdk what it does is you are writing typescript code that that's awesome right you are writing just typescript react typescript or uh, node.js typescript or writing your application now you can use the same technology same step to create your s3 bucket ec2 instance and all these things so i'm a developer i can write front end back end and also i can write my op operations like devops stuff i can build my ci cd i can deploy my front end app by building a ci cd and then deploying it to s3 so this this couple of videos in coming series is going to enable you to understand aws and how you can access through the aws cdk cdk is a cloud development kit using that you will just write a code and just you need to have a aws access key and secret key and then just run the code aws cdk deploy like npm script package.json script and you'll be able to create anything you want so on the same line i'm going to talk about this thing this is uh, a slides provided by aws uh, aws only it's not my it's i don't have a copyright for this so what we are going to talk about is 
how these things really happens so initially you might think okay i'm not able to understand these things what is going on but when we really sit together and write code and i will try to create okay this is how the things are getting created on aws then you will understand more aws cdk is a platform which are having which is having these different building blocks which has a stack stack has the constructs so every aws components can be created using constructs like s3 sqs sns ec2 uh, cloud front s3 or S any component you just name it every component can be constructed using construct construct is nothing but a class and you whatever the resources you wanted to create that can be added inside a stack so like i'm creating a a simple stack where i'm going to write a simple api rest api which is going to consume a consume through api gateway and going to hit lambda right simple i can just create a simple stack stack will contain all those things together and then that is your aws cdk what actually it does it helps you to build all these things either using python node.js java javascript simple right you are writing a code to create your infrastructure and i really like it because earlier i didn't like cloud formation i used to try to learn it as a developer but i really hate it then this aws cdo came into picture and i'm just writing a plain classes that is giving me everything i need i'm just creating a simple class when i deploy it s3 bucket is created ec2 instance is created and i really like it and that's why I'm going to introduce this in my this playlist because learning this is empowers you to explore other things outside your front and back and mean stack, mon stack. Oh, forget about it. Focus on the overall development. Okay. So what we are doing is this is just a CDK reference. It it you can create any resource with the help of CDK and it available in the Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, .NET. What we are doing, forget about this example, what we are actually going to do in the, the real world, we are we want is we have a front end application React app which we are going to build uh, fully that will have a Uber Eats landing page or maybe some components, the whole whole front end application with all the routes. We are going to deploy it to S3. So what all things we need? We might need a cloud front, S3 bucket and all these things, right? So all those things you can create through this cdk and you just do is you just use this cdk cli so what you do is here you are you will just install aws cdk then you just do cdk init language typescript and then you will write some code when you execute it it synthesizes the construct and your stack and it creates a aws cloud formation json so you don't need to worry about generating a cloud formation template and then when you do cdk deploy it deploys your cloud formation because aws understand cloud formation only not your typescript or javascript or python code your there is a compiler which is synthesizing it and generating a cloud formation template for you that is a json or yaml language which aws understand because there is a aws cloud formation already a component in aws which is heavily used that gives uh, you can say context to aws okay what all resources i need to create s3 cloud front route 53 api gateway lambda dynamo db ec2 instance that cloud formation will be executed by aws and aws will create a resources based on your aws account aws region maybe a vpc subnet all those information you will feed in through your code but what you are familiar with only your code this is my stack and these are the resources i wanted to create why this is important to understand is we are going to write code to create the infrastructure and my 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 objective to talk about this is next we are i'm going to put in a aws cdk workshop so developers who are writing front and back end can also understand how to deploy how to create aws resources through AWS CDK. I'm using it from a couple of years now. I, I want to put a content and I wanted to use Uber Eats clone or any other full stack clone application to be deployed through the AWS CDK. So developers will understand, okay, yes, this is how it can be done without a DevOps. Okay. So this is our next plan. I will also attach this uh, 
slides provided by AWS in the description and we can get dive in so we already have our uh, next GS admin dashboard ready and the front end react app is ready we will just play around and we will try to deploy that through uh, this AWS CDK first we will understand AWS CDK what it is then we will pull in our microservices and front end and client side rendered and server side rendered app to deploy it so we are going to explore a lot of things on AWS and it's going to be fun it's not about this whole playlist is not about writing a just simple UI and doing a API integration 